Just ignore her. Please concentrate on finding a way to get us out of here. We have to split before the doctor. Uh oh. <laughs> I finally caught you. All right, we are back to the most insane Dungeons and Dragons group you've ever seen, and believe me, that is saying a lot. The last episode, Lily got a dose of harsh reality. We came to realization finally of all the people who have fallen because of our actions. I heard that. Wait a second. Lily? What's wrong with her? <gasps> well, let's see what we got here. You're certainly a brave warrioress. All of Hoth Motigor is in your debt. You? That's so depressing. I'm supposed to award experience points to improve a talent. Expressive dance, making music, lockpicking. I don't actually want to be able to do any of those things. Isn't there a talent such as accepting one's fate? Or assigning experience points without experiencing an existential crisis? Peter's dithering made Lily furious. Couldn't the notorious whiner make even the most basic decisions? Lily would have liked to smack him across the face, but something held her back. <laughs> oh, what are we now, like, committing actual acts of violence ourselves or what? Doing whatever you want? Getting angry. Well, I'm... I got the getting angry. <gasps> Ouch! <sighs> You're right. I'll just increase pick locks, and that's it. Wow. There. Why don't you just hold on to the character sheet? I don't want anything to do with it anymore. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wu existential guy just got smacked in the face. I right, get over it. You whiner. We got a character sheet here. Lily wished she was as skilled as her new role-playing character. Hmm. That was fun! You really have to play with us again sometime. Druggles? Struggle jug. He's a master wordsmith, the struggle jug. Whenever you need advice, he is the boy to go to. Okay, so we got ourselves apparently a character sheet. What for? No idea. Can we, by the way, go through this door now? The door was firmly locked. Cannot. Unfortunately. Harvey, can I pick you up now? Oh. Puts me back over here. Oh, what about this, um... Locked iron gate? Coffee, that's to go back. Chicky's still here. So this is the remains of, um, what we did earlier. That's where all the remains of the people that we found out were at. Oh, there's an arrow here. Oh, bear, be, better an arrow to the side of a cliff here than an arrow in the knee. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Lily was always happy when something was left over. But usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. Mm-hmm. We have an arrow. I do with the arrow. Could I maybe pick? No, no. Go into inventory. Well, can we pick? Went in. Go do it. Oh, here we go. Lock with arrow. It sounded crazy, but she now actually had the skill to pick locks. Done. The gate was open. She wondered if... Oh, it's gonna be open in the real world. <laughs> it was true. She'd opened the real gate during her trance. The path to the asylum's tower was now free. Somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. Without really thinking about it, Lily took the stuffed rabbit with her. If she was going to enter Dr. Marcel's realm, she didn't want to do it alone, like she usually did. Yo. The realm of Dr. Marcel, huh? We got epic music. Yo, I get the feeling we're kind of close to the end here. Oh, head in the cell. The door was firmly locked. Ah, of course it would be. Is that, um, Alfred? Alfred was his name, right? It up. What an ugly boy. 
Why someone would put up a picture like that baffled Lily. It is Alfred. Oh, my boy Alfred. Dead to the world. What do we got here, moonshine? Lily could stare at the moon for hours, but she didn't like it. Terrible things tended to happen. Yeah, like that one time she turned into a werewolf. Do not disturb. Okay. Ah, that was the catch. You can remove it, but you can't take the not to disturb. The door was firmly locked. Everything's locked. All right, let's go to the storeroom. Oh, Phantom Man. Phantom Man apparently has keys. Why aren't you, like, somewhere getting medical attention? I gouged your eye out. Got a mirror here. Let me take that. Ah, that was the catch. Another hook. Okay, second hook now. Bowling ball? The bowling ball. Take everything. Termite farm. Take that, too. How awkward. Lily had destroyed the termite farm. Well, that's no good. What happens when I walk over here? He's gonna, like, rush me and try to get revenge for poking his eye out. No, he's fine with it. I was that girl that poked my eye out. That's cool. The Phantom looked depressed, but Lily noticed something else. A key ring. Was that the key to Edna's cell? <gasps> Alright, so you are keeping us from Edna. We get to speak to you as well. Hold up. Lunchbox? Somebody had left their lunchbox. That would never happen to Lily. She didn't have a lunchbox. Honey pancakes. Honey pancakes. The smell of the honey pancakes reminded Lily of the funny story with the termites. Freeman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, the one of the things that we did that led to death way early in the playthrough. Okay, what about the you? The clothes rack reminded Lily of the old man from the school. Did that really happen today? Yeah, it's felt like we've been on this quest forever. Um... Leave me alone. I'm a hopeless case. Father was right. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm Reuben, Dr. Marcel's secret second son, Alfred's older brother. Lily didn't know who Alfred was, but she still thought it was appropriate to catch her breath in shock. We were supposed to have the perfect upbringing. Pops thought traditional methods were inadequate. That's why he began developing his own, while Alfred responded to his practices. I developed conspicuous behavior. I was a failed experiment. Pops was so disappointed that he kept me in the asylum cellar, hidden from the outside world. Alfred, on the other hand, was presented as a shining example of his parenting methods. I never had a chance to make him proud of me. Since Alfred died, everything just got worse. I'm invisible to him. A ghost, a bad dream. The strange circumstances surrounding Alfred's death showed him that childishness is a disease that needs to be eradicated. I should have died back then. If I could only see my brother one more time, I never got to say goodbye to him. That's a lot. That's a lot to take in. There was a second brother. How about that? He also kind of sounded like my boy, um, Game for Kicks. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, why does he... Alfred didn't really have much of an accent, neither did his Dr. Marcel, right? Where'd you pick up this accent from, Mr. Phantom Man? Alright, so... He wants to see his brother. I got a portrait of him here. Oh, it's him! <laughs> it's my brother, Alfred. Oh, Alfred. I still have so much to tell you. So, we gotta figure out something to do here. There are these hooks, though. There's two of them, right? And it does seem... Oh, you know what? The moonshine. That's probably why it's there. So if we... S oh, that's the reason why we have to bring down a new dust. Do not disturb sign, right? So then if we do this... But now that's... Okay. So that would work, but... This freaking door needs to be open. No, leave it open! Hey, how the hell did we get that open? So it would shine like a cross through here. Why? What do we need to shine there for? It would hit the clothes rack. Uh, oh, we still have... 
Okay, hold on, hold on. This, this seems silly, but... On top of the clothes rack, the bowling ball looked like a skull. But something was missing. I know it's silly, but I mean, what isn't silly in this game? Lily shuddered. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a ghost in the storeroom. What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. If anybody's gonna do any haunting here, it's me. Beat it. If you see Alfred... <laughs> tell him to haunt round this way sometime. I never got to say goodbye to him. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what I, That's the idea that I got here. So, um... The question now is, like, how do I... Oh, wait, I can't interact with this anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, the termites! Honey, honey, okay, remember how we got the termites to, um... <laughs> devour that child? Um, with the honey? We have honey pancakes, that's the reason why they told us about the, the honey story. So, what if we put this here, would they eat? I mean, we can hang it, so... Do I leave? Huh? Noteworthy. The termites scarfed all the pancakes, and ate a hole through the door in the process. Falcon, you genius! There, so now it's shiny, right? So... The hook's still there. Is it gonna... Oh, I see what you're gonna do. I don't see how that would work, especially if this portrait happens to be like one of those, you know, black back... ...porches that you hang up. But okay. What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. If anyone's gonna be haunting around here, then... Wait, wait a minute. Alfred? It's Alfred! It's really you! I... I can't believe it. Oh, Alfred. I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> and I have so much I still want to tell you. Where to begin. Oh, yeah. I know. You lousy, dirty toad. Because of you, I've lived my whole life in a stinking sewer. Just you wait. Oh. Oh, I can move now. Okay. Well, um... He never got that rage out of his system, and now he is. See, that that only works if that picture is, like, clear, you know, because then you could kind of reflect it off. But if it's, like, one of those blackboard portraits, you know, that's in the bank... Eh, you know, maybe I'm thinking too much out of it. It's just a game, Falcon. It's a silly game. Yes, you're right. All right, well, Phantom, you, um... You and your brother get reacquainted there. I'm gonna leave now. So now we can let Edna out, more than likely, huh? All right, here we go. Lily! Oh, thank goodness. We were so worried that they had gotten you too. The doctor has completely lost his mind. He wants to turn us all into mindless puppets. Just look at what he's done to Mother Superior. Oh, hello, Lily. Nice to see you. But what are you doing here? In the middle of the night. Did the other students make you do this? They are such naughty children. You, on the other hand, were always so good. So good. I'm sorry that I was always so strict with you. But now, thanks to Dr. Marcel, I'm a good child too. Come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me. Embroider the dolls for the doctor. Just ignore her. Please concentrate on finding a way to get us out of here. We have to split before the doctor. Uh oh. <laughs> I finally caught you. I was hoping you'd show up here. I can use all the help I can get to speed up production of my hypnosis dolls. Soon, I'll be delivering them across the entire world. And then, naughty children will become the stuff of fairy tales. Once I've subjected you to my improved hypnotherapy, nothing can stop me. <laughs> that bastard. Well, here we all are. Everybody. Even Gary got apparently caught somehow. Okay, so what do we got here, Harvey Dolls? You must not contradict. Shut up, Harvey. Dr. Marcel was planning to go into mass production. So no help from Mother Superior as well. Oh, it's a scene from um the first game. The upholstery <laughs> was torn. What had happened here? Oh, it's a long story. Oh, Neil. 
You ah. must not use sharp objects. Oh, shut up, foreground Harvey. Sharp objects, huh? Okay, hold on. Sharp objects. There we go. Okay, so we got ourselves a needle. What else? RV dolls. Probably be the same thing as the other one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Trash can. Lily hesitated. Usually, she waited until Mother Superior was gone before she rummaged through the garbage. But Lily was running out of options. But what was that? Were they... Eyes? Harvey eyes or <laughs> human eyes? Harvey's old eyes! <gasps> Can we get him back? Lily had an idea. She knew she couldn't sew very well, but maybe it was good enough to give Harvey back his old eyes. However, something was missing to implement this plan. Oh, well, we'd have to we'd have to sew it back on, right? Ball of wool, which we've had from the very start, ironically enough. Perfect. Lily now had a needle and thread. There it is. Harvey's sewing kid, so we put that and he should be back. Oh, right, hold up. Before we do that, though, we still needed to talk to you guys. Edna and Garrett were tied up. Lily was on her own once again. Um... You have to get us free, Lily. I think Mother Superior has a knife to cut the threads. Unfortunately, she can't use it while she's hypnotized. If only we could somehow get her out of her trance. Um... I'm so happy to see you, Lily. I'd give you a hug, but... Oh, well. This wool version of an H.R. Geiger nightmare is sort of restricting my movements. Can we postpone this touching reunion scene until later? First, we need a plan for how to get down from here. Your mama needs a plan. My mother has a plan. For example, to convey me a sense of reality. What's your mother's plan? Oh, I forgot. You no longer have any parents. Oh, that's mean. Um... <laughs> what? Oh, Lily is right. We should concentrate on getting out of here. Agreed. <laughs> Twit. <coughs> that is a freaking burn right there. That's terrible. <laughs> it's like, you know, those burns that are like, you know, based on reality are the worst. My mom has a plan. What about you? Oh, that's right. You don't got any parents, Edna. Wow. That's good. That's a good burn here, Garrett. Okay, so I just wanted to see what they had to say, and that's good. I always thought, I'll be honest with you guys, from the very start, because nobody ever really saw Edna, I thought Edna wasn't really there. I thought she was like, I thought she was Lily's Harvey, is what I always thought Edna was. But now that I see her there interacting with other people, I guess Edna was really there the entire time. Lily hesitated. She'd often been told that she wasn't very good with the needle and thread. But what did she have to lose? She was just going to have to chance it. What are you doing? Stop that! You're hurting me! You must not use sharp objects! You have... You... Have... No... Have to scratch my fuzzy butt! <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> I can hardly believe it! I'm my old self! <laughs> Harvey? Is it really you? <laughs> and there's... there's Edna! Come on! Go, go, go! Let's set fire to something! And fly to the moon! Just so we can eat it up! Go for it, Lily! What are you waiting for? Let's tear this joint apart! Yippee! Well, I mean... Harvey was really technically never good. <laughs> You know, a lot of things that Edna did was because of Harvey's influence. But now I'm more now I'm even more confused because if Harvey's over here talking, Lily could hear it, Edna could hear it. Is Garrett also listening on this? Could Lily help Mother Superior overcome her mental blocks this way? Shaking, she pulled the string. The tables have turned. Everybody's getting hypnotized now. The hell is this? Hmm? Hey, Lily! You're here too! Cool! What's that? Some kind of fight? Less talking, 
More fighting! Now it's your turn. Select one of your Harvey figures on the right side, then an action from the list at the bottom left. All right, so this is literally just a turn-based RPG. That's what it is at this point. All of them have, like, different type of skills and abilities you can combo up, apparently, and the enemies have their own. So we'll do a little bit over here and see how this goes. So Berserker Harvey can combo up, apparently, with this guy for five opponents' Mega Barrage hits. Sure, we'll try that. So five boys, huh? Let's go after Spider, Snowman, Chanting Dude, Wendigo, and Dragon. And it did two damage to all of them. And Spider Boy came up and attacked somebody. Okay. Cool. Select Fire Harvey, what do you got? Fire attack on two opponents. Okay. Go after Spider Boy, I would say, and the Snowman. Nice. Snowman attacked. Select Sharp Harvey, okay. Any combinations? No, not with him. Alcohol Harvey, not with anybody. You could do a combination, apparently, with Listening Harvey. What does this do? Propaganda lets an opponent attack his allies twice and blocks him. Really? Okay. I don't think the Wendigo's gone just yet, right? So how about we take over the Wendigo? He attacked himself and the spider. And now he's not going to attack us our turn. Or his turn. Perfect. Two hours later. All right, and we're just about done. It's a very simple fight. I'm not sure how you can lose this one. <laughs> so you can see everybody on my side is still alive. And they only have one boy left over over here. So Berserker Harvey, go ahead and uh, finish this off. You won! Yippee! No, it can't be, you damn rabbit. You were supposed to make sure she would stick to the rules. She can't just do whatever she wants. Of course. Riot! But we need rules. Otherwise... Otherwise... Mother Superior's behavioral blocks had been removed. Had Lily made a mistake? Was Mother Superior once again as strict and vindictive as before? But even as Lily thought about such things, Mother Superior started weeping uncontrollably. <sighs> Thank you, Lily. I'd completely forgotten what it's like to be a child. All the unfair rules. <laughs> All the restrictions. <laughs> oh, Lily. What have I done to you all? Bravo, Lily. Now we have her where we want her. Take the knife from her so you can finally cut us loose. 